Hey guys, welcome back to another video here today. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for checking out the channel. If not, welcome back. But today, we are going to be building a sugarcane farm. It is fully auto. It can be. It can be fully auto. If you want to, uh, if you need help with fully auto, you can definitely hit it up in the comments. I'll definitely help you out for sure. Maybe I'll make a video on a, um, a bigger one. I'm just doing a one floor for now. But the platform... The platform you want 17 by 9 17 by 9 and then you want to go ahead and build up some walls i i did a um creative world and i put in, um abandoned mine shafts and what to spawn in so you can kind of see them there uh this part right here is not necessary but it will help you it'll it'll kind of go a little bit faster it'll speed up the sugar cane a little bit so if you want to you can use ice if not, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter, but we're going to fill that in. Except for the first layer, that's actually going to have some hoppers. So, this design is nice. It's pretty easy to build. Uh, it doesn't take too long at all. If anybody does need help, definitely let me know. I can come on your world and help you. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to build. Pretty cheap, so it's not too bad. But we're going to do some ice right here. Once we get this uh, finished, then we'll go ahead and do the next step. But you're going to want to build the wall up one more so we can place the water. All right, we'll do the chest first. So we're going to want to put that chest there. We're going to crouch so that the hoppers direct into the chest. So they go into the chest. And then from there, uh, I'll kind of show you. I'll kind of drop some redstone so you can kind of see it in the chest. So we'll go ahead and, yeah, you can see it's all tilted towards that way. So that's nice uh, chest right there. And then we'll kind of drop those. They're, they they will slide the other way because the wall and the water is not in. So we'll go ahead and do the water now. But I'll kind of show you. There's some in there. So that that's kind of how you know you have your um your hoppers. We're going to go ahead and put a back wall on here. And basically what we're going to do is fill it in with water. So that it brings all the sugar cane to the hoppers. So let's go ahead and do that. It'll bring all the redstone too. So. We can kind of look at that again. Uh, I'm going to drop a little more. There we go. And there you go, 14. We might have just missed it. So, uh, let's see. Oh, 15, 17. Okay, I guess it doesn't update for whatever reason. This is on Xbox, so it's it's a little bit whatever. But So, here we want to find the middle block. Uh, we'll go up one more layer here. No, we're just finding the middle block. Okay, we're just finding the middle block. An eight, eight, there we go. The middle's there. So we're going to build up two. This is where your sugar cane is going to be placed on. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and kind of do a little zigzag. No, that's too far. Let's bring that out. Whoops, 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 whoops. So let's fill that back in. Now we're going to break the back blocks. We're going to break the back ones here. This is where your sugar cane is going to go on. Uh, it can't go on right now because it's not set up. But uh, you'll kind of see here. I'm going to try to leave it all unedited so that you guys can kind of like step by step kind of look at it and see how it is. So we're going to break that up. And now let's go ahead and grab a new block. So we'll just grab uh, we need some sugar cane. Where, am I blind? Where's the sugar cane? Um, sugar cane, sugar cane. I think I'm blind. Oh, there it is. What the heck? Okay. So yeah, you can't place it now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see here. So... You got to get a block underneath to kind of hold it. We'll do a uh, diamond. We'll kind of change it up so it's easier. So get a block underneath so that the water can sit in there. No problems. No problems. There we go. We need a block there. And then we need to put a uh, block on the side so the water doesn't flow away. Let's go ahead and do this here. Uh, we're just, we're just kind of breaking the other blocks we don't need. There we go. There we go. So let's go ahead and continue that on. We're going to go ahead and do it on this side. We'll do, uh, usually I like to do, uh, like one sugar cane and then on the other side have the exact same design. So it's like two of them right beside each other, which is pretty efficient. But just for the tutorial, we won't do that because that'll take way too much time. But from here, we're going to put water in. And after this step, you should be able to put, um, sugar cane on. If you can, then you're on the right track and you're doing good so far. So let's go ahead and get the sugar cane on. Oh, place two there accidentally. And from here, we're going to go ahead and switch the blocks out again. So it's a little easier to follow. No, not that. 
Uh, we'll get emerald. And you want to put a block behind the sugar cane. So it's just kind of to block the water. And what this is going to do is it's... You're going to actually put pistons on here. So it's going to... It's going to... Uh, it's kind of nice because you can follow step by step. Uh, so we'll throw the pistons on there. And then after this step, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to need a little bit of redstone. So if you're not too good with redstone, it's okay because this is a pretty basic design here. It's nice. Let's go ahead and find a block. Uh, where's the clay? Here we go. Let's just grab any clay. Whatever. Okay, so you're going to want to go two out or three out this time. Okay, so I got to go out one more here in a second. We go ahead and no, 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 not on top, not on top. Oh, I can't place blocks. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these here. And pretty much this is for your redstone. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just jump down here, fill it in. You want to go three blocks, three blocks. And then you're going to actually break the block behind the piston. And oh, and you're going to have a redstone torch there. I'll kind of show you guys as we go along. Oh, that's not right. Okay, uh, let's see. See if I can get down there. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, we'll have uh, redstone torches. I got to extend this out one more right there. Do that, do that, do that. Fix this side up. Usually, usually you do about six or seven floors of this. So, I, I'll show you guys my version a little bit uh, in probably another episode. Uh, but it's, it's pretty efficient. It's probably by far the most efficient one I know of. That's why I want to get it out for you guys so you can kind of... Get just a stupid amount of shuriken, like unreal, like unreal. So let's go ahead and grab some torches now. We'll place the torches on just to power the pistons. So when you place your torches, it's going to push the piston. Uh, that's what you want. It's not going to stay like that, uh, but that's what you want for now. So there we go. That's pretty much it. You're just going to keep doing uh, another floor on top. If you want to power it by hand, it's ba it's really easy. Uh, just go ahead and put a lever there. Uh, otherwise, you can do a redstone tower. Uh, if anybody doesn't know how to do a redstone tower, then let me know and I can definitely help you. But that's your first floor. Really, really easy. Uh, sugar cane drops in there. And it's it's super easy. So pretty cheap too. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, like I said. And uh, hopefully this helped you. If it did, let me know. Uh, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.